This last Saturday night, former junior middleweight and middleweight contender Jaime Munguia made a statement with his ninth round victory over John Ryder, solidifying himself as a threat to the super middleweight division. His greatest tools in this contest were his granite chin and application of versatility. Early on in the contest, we could see the latter at play as Munguia was set up a 1-2 and then switch to a 2-3. His offense was clearly putting Ryder on the back foot where he does his worst work, and it didn't help that Ryder is not as good with dealing with a swarmer style. Those are the kind of combinations that John Ryder has to stay away from. Five and six punch combinations that are easy to see. Throughout the contest, we also saw Munguia doubling and tripling his jab before throwing a cross, as well as working both to the body and to the head. It was clear that Ryder was having a hard time as he was down twice within the first four rounds. To his credit, Ryder showed his championship heart and had his most success in the middle rounds where he would wrestle and throw lead hand counters. Though it's also in these middle rounds where Ryder was having success that Munguia's granite chin proved its potency. In the end, Munguia hurt Ryder by throwing a couple of one-twos with straight shots before switching to a looping overhand right. And down goes Ryder. Though he beat the count, wearing his heart on his sleeve, another swarm of punches concluded with another looping overhand had him down again where his corner called the halt to the action shortly thereafter. It was truly a statement victory for Jaime Munguia, defeating a man in 9 rounds as opposed to Canelo who did it in 12. That said, I am not saying that Munguia should be fighting Canelo. Right now, I think Bungia is a B-plus tier super middleweight. The reason he could put Ryder away easier than Canelo is the fact that he is a swarmer. Personally speaking, I would absolutely love to see Bungia fight Benavides as both are swarmers and both are more often than not there to be hit. That said, I, as does the rest of the boxing world, would prefer to see Benavides versus Canelo on Cinco de Mayo. As for John Ryder, I'm not quite sure where he goes from here. Most of his losses have been at that championship level, which doesn't mean he should retire. Though with this loss against a young upcoming super middleweight, I find it hard to believe that he'll continue to have success even at that B and C tier level. But I am just one man, and you all are the rest of the boxing world. So feel free to leave your thoughts and comments below. Thank you for watching. This has been Honor's Place. Have a good one.